And when we start dealing with numerology, we need to understand that it's very important, specifically dealing with the number nine. Nine can be found throughout nature and throughout history everywhere, correct? They believe it's the number of completion. They believe it's the representation of the first man that worked the earth, Adam. And they believe it's the, it represents the perfectness. They believe it's the end of a cycle. This is because it's the last single digit of numerology. It's the last single digit of calculating mathematics. So we can find it all throughout history, all throughout nature, right? There's nine holes in the body. If you was to calculate all the minutes of the day, it will be equivalent to the number nine. There are nine nitrogen cycles of the world. There are nine planets that the humans know about. And the Earth possesses nine tectonic plates as well. There's also nine climate zones of the Earth, and that's the polar tundra, the boreal forest, the mountains, the Mediterranean, the temperate forest, the desert, the drylands, and the tropical dry land, or the tropical grasslands. And Women carry babies for nine months. And in the New Testament, it has 27 books. Two plus seven equals nine. The Egyptian triangle, which includes the sun, the moon, and the earth, is equivalent to two plus seven plus six plus four plus one plus two plus five equals 27 two plus seven equals nine plus the moon orbits the earth 27 days that's two plus seven in the ratio of this is 11 over three or 11 thirds and this is three divided by 11 equals 27 now when we get to the christian bible and we can find this like i say all throughout history uh shaba and gematria's uh, numerology ends up to be equivalent of nine uh, they believe they had nine bowls over in Egypt on thrones. They believe Caesar had dealt with nine and a lot of other uh, Leonardo da Vinci and a lot of other great men and great warriors and great rituals have been based off of the number nine, whether it was the date, whether it was objects being lined up in the number nine or just different color tones or other frequencies that was equivalent mathematically to the number nine. Now, as far as, you know, religions and goes to the Bible, it was a lot of representation of numerology, correct? And we don't speak about revelations and you should go back and read the revelation scriptures with this in mind, correct? But we will go to revelations 13. 18 and 18 and that is 13 times 18 equals 234 234 plus 432 which is the same number equals 666 666 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18 1 plus 8 equals 9 13 divided by 18 equals 0.72 7 plus 2 equals 9 the constellation the constellation of the cosmos shift every 72 years. That's 7 plus 2 equals 9. And the earth is tilted on an axis of 23.4. 2 plus 3 plus 4. So these are just quick representations that I found that was very important. That I thought that, you know, we should try to deem on as far as using numerolo numerology. A lot of people like to believe, hey, you shouldn't follow nothing. And this is just pride and ego coming in the way. An uh, old man just told me today that you can learn something from an old cat. You can learn something from an old head. And this is what this is. It's some of the an most ancient knowledge, ancient information that we have. And just because you don't want to follow something, just because you think your ego too big and you're a god yourself, that you can't follow any of these systems, we have to remember it different things like this. That it's not about your ego. It's not about your pride. It's not about you thinking that you're so godly and out of touch of different systems like this, but that there have been so much representation, similarities, and energy and frequencies put behind these numbers that you no matter who you are can use these numerology tactics astrology tactics or other systems for the benefit of not only you but the people that is around you based off of the informational curriculum given in an algorithm form correct